Hello everyone and welcome back to Stephen Mail. Welcome to summer. And when I say summer, I mean it. We're actually going to be combining three months worth of mail today. We are going to be doing June, July, and August of the mail this year. And we're also doing something very, very different that we haven't done before. Because we have so many packages this month and also so much mail, we are breaking it into two separate videos. So you are right now watching the letters video. If you want to hear letters read, then you're in the right place. If you want to see packages, go over to the other video. It will be out at the same time as this video. Go check the channel. It's on the on the other thing. For today, for now, for this video, let's start getting through some letters. First letter is from Joshua in Mooresville, North Carolina. Dear Stephen and Mal, the first part of the letter is a bit personal, but I eventually get on to speaking to you directly, so stick around. Gaming has been a passion for me since I was three years old. My parents bought me a Game Boy, and from that moment on, I was addicted. I remember riding to our local Blockbuster to rent Pokemon Red and Blue and playing it nonstop until it had to be returned. As I grew older, Pokemon never really got old or boring to me, so when I started watching YouTube videos, Pokemon videos were amongst some of my favorite. Steven, I discovered you from your Pokemon Leaf Green LP. I found a random episode and fell in love with the format, the commentary, and the gameplay. After finishing the LP, I noticed you also kept a vlog. I started watching some from your college days and learned more about you and your life. As strange as it may seem, I feel like I've known you for two years. Your videos have not only occupied my time, but they've also cheered me up when I was down or have brought me to tears from laughter. Since this is the first time I've written to you both, congratulations on being college graduates, on getting married, buying your first and second apartments, and of course, being cat owners. I just wanted to let you both know that you have inspired me. Uh, I also have three channels, and I plan on giving YouTube a shot, um, in addition to working part-time at a grocery store and going to college. Mao, I want to teach history at the high school level. What advice would you have to an, exp uh, an aspiring teacher, and what was the most helpful to you during your first year of teaching? Being organized, just having things prepared and ready to go, and always having a fail safe. Like that one lesson you can just be like, we're doing this today. You already have copies made. And from someone who has lived with you and went through this entire process with you, um, asking questions because yes. it seems like a lot of times the schools don't explain things to you and they kind of I guess expect you to know things that would not even be specific to teaching but specific to like that school mm -hmm. they do not explain it and then they want to know why didn't you do this so kind of like talk to co-workers and stuff mm -hmm. and like find out things that you may need to know that you like, probably don't know. What happens if you're sick? How do you call in? Who do you call in? What do you do? It's, it's better to know all of that information ahead of time before you need to utilize the information. Anyway, uh, anyways, thank you both for creating wonderful content and sharing your lives with the world uh, from Joshua Hopper. Joshua, thank you so much. This is, this is an example of an exemplary letter. Yes. I just wanted to point that out. Our next letter is from Ian in San Antonio, Texas. And Ian says, hey, hey, Stephen the Mal. It does say, hey, hey, double hey. I am a huge fan of the vlog and started watching on day uh, 1152. Uh, I want to recommend a game for the LP channel, Super Mario 3D World, known to us as Super Mario Cat World. It's okay if you can't LP the game, but it's a recommendation I have. Also included in the letter is a card of the Pokemon Chespin. And it says so happy across it. And a drawing of you two as Tuxedo Mask and Sailor Moon uh, from the series Sailor Moon, which Mao is all too really into right now. All too familiar with. She watches it all the time. He also sent us a recipe for pasta tacos, which I assume are tacos which are filled with pasta. Filled with pasta? <laughs> or maybe the taco shells are made of pasta. That seems messy. From your fan, Ian. Ian, thank you so much. Our next letter is coming from Henry in Harker Heights, Texas. Henry says, hi. Actually says hi in giant letters. Hey, Stephen Amell. I haven't written in a while, but I haven't really gotten the chance to. But summer! <laughs> was a long time ago. Now that I don't have school all day, I have time to stay inside all day and watch you, although that sounded creepy. I didn't say that, that's what he wrote. Uh, also, I bought myself a 3DS recently, so what games would you recommend for that? I currently have Star Fox 64 and Pokemon X. Um, we don't have a ton of 3DS games. Um, actually, we have a good bit. It's just we've played very, very, very few of them. But my personal recommendations are Luigi's Mansion and um, Mario 3D Land, which I thought was awesome, and I 100%ed because I loved it so much. And uh, I haven't played it, but I played it when it came out when I was you know, 10 or 11 or whatever. Zelda 3D, Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. 
Um, would you? Do you have any other recommendations other Smash than Smash Brothers? Oh yeah, Smash Brothers is out. Um, I don't know if if you have a Wii U, I don't recommend it. Mario Kart Seven. Mario Kart Seven is good. It's just it's weird because if you have a, if you have a Wii U, like eight's there's better. there's yeah, eight's better than seven and it plays differently. There's different mechanics in the game and Smash Brothers for the Wii U, it's just, it's better than the. The handheld version. Anyway, uh, keep doing what you're doing because everyone loves it. I also really love your GTA series, especially the online one. I peed myself once. I've peed myself editing them. Also, one last question. Have you ever tripped and fell whilst filming? And if so, did you keep it in the final video? I've never fallen, but I have tripped. There's been times I've been filming and I've tripped. The most recent one I can remember is when we were in PAX, there was a large group of people in a queue line and I actually ran up and down the queue line to film them and when I, there was like cables or something and I tripped on them, but I didn't fall, so that was good. Uh, bye, also Henry includes um, two fairly amazing screenshots of us, which are interesting. Uh, here's a beautiful one of Mal. You actually kind of look like Mona Lisa. Don't you think? I guess. Kind of. Because it's one of those things like, is she is she smiling or is she not? Mine uh, looks a lot like Mona Lisa too, <laughs> I think. Maybe not. Our next letter is from Jason in Simi Valley, California. And Jason sends in this <laughs> underwater SpongeBob scene and everything is written on the back. So I'll just let you guys see this while I read it to you. Uh, Dear Stephen Amal, some of this is directed towards Stephen. And also you. I started watching your videos after I saw your vlog with Trucker Conroy at his house. Ever since I looked at both of your channels, I've been hooked. Your GTA Online videos are hilarious, your LPs are really great, and watching your vlogs have led me to believe you're a really awesome pair of people who love video games. You've responded to me many times on Twitter as well, which is really cool because not many YouTubers do. Uh, thanks for being alive, <laughs> both of you. <laughs> You're welcome. I will continue to strive to be alive. Uh, keep up the good work, and here's a drawing of SpongeBob characters my best friend's sister drew when she was younger for motivation from Jason. Uh, also, P.S. Steve, Steven Georg and P.P.S. Uh, stay cool. I am Dan, living like Larry. Jason, thank you. Our next letter is from John in Delton, Michigan. And John says a short-ish letter to you. Hello, Mal and Steven. <laughs> this is John, or on YouTube, Enderfriend. In 2006, I made an account on a newfangled site called YouTube. I didn't do anything with it for literally four years. Then, I discovered an amazingly funny vlog channel. Daily Dan Vlog! That, that, that's right, I found you through Dan. <laughs> It was on his vlog, Myrtle Beach Time, when I was studying major cities for an essay. I was like, who is this tall guy? And clicked on your channel. I started around day 1100 and am now currently taking the journey. So with all that random crap out of the way, thanks for reading this letter three months after you got it from John, AKA and a friend on YouTube. And when he says three months, he actually means much, much, much longer. I think that's really cool. I've never heard of anyone finding us through Dan. Obviously it's normally the other way around, but I think that's awesome. It's, it's cool that there are so many different I guess varied ways that people end up finding the channels. Our next letter is from Rachel in Cincinnati, Ohio. Rachel says, hi, my name is Rachel and I am from Cincinnati, Ohio, which I guess you just said. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I am a huge fan. I loved your Twilight Princess Let's Play and I love watching Stephen Play's memorable moments. One time I showed my friends the Uku video and they nearly laughed their heads off once you notice that they have hooks for nipples. Also, every time we get a blue ruby, uh, we do the voice. I also put the drawing with this leather. It is of Mal dressed as Princess Peach and Stephen as Ness, which Works pretty well, because that's our Smash Brothers characters. Uh, well, that's all I have for now from Rachel. Rachel, thank you so much for the letter. Our next letter is from William in Woodbridge, Virginia. William says, Dear Stephen Amal, uh, Skyrim is my favorite LP, and it will be missed. I loved it so much that I'm working on a video which will be called A Tribute to Stephen Play Skyrim. It probably won't be up for a while, so I'm telling you to expect it hopefully within a few months. I'll write again when it's up. Sincerely, William. William, short, sweet, to the point. I appreciate it. Let me know when that video is up. Our next letter is from Cameron in Lake Worth, Florida. And uh, Cameron actually starts with a, I guess I'd almost call it a cover letter. Preamble. A preamble? A cover letter, almost type thing. It says, Dear Stephen Mao, I'm sending you a handwritten copy of an essay assignment I recently turned in for school. You'll see when you read it that it's about you. Hope you enjoy the essay and hope to see many more of your vlogs in the future uh, from your fan, Cameron. Um, so that was like the, the cover letter. So I actually, 
I read through the essay and I very much enjoyed it, but I, I picked out just a, a tiny bit that, uh, that I wanted to share with you guys. So the essay question was, many people have been profoundly affected by great works of art. Describe a work of art that had a powerful impact on your life. What work of art was it? How did it affect you and why? So this is Cameron's response. Well, a part of it. Uh, there is a progressive work of art that has greatly affected me over the past two years. It's called Steven Vlog and is posted on the internet on YouTube.com. As the name implies, it's a daily video blog produced by uh, Stephen George, who is a graduate of the Savannah College of Art and Design. Stephen Vlog features fun outings and family vacations. Some of those vlogs include trips with Stephen's wife Mallory to places such as local aquariums, where they had opportunities to pet small stingrays, to Broadway at the Beach, which has a carnival-like atmosphere, to live concerts, to historic places such as Fort Sumter, giving a brief history lesson in the process, to restaurants, video game stores, and the beach. Uh, these sojourns mostly take place in the Carolinas. Family vacations, sometimes taken with Mallory's parents and sister, have featured trips to U.S. states such as Wisconsin, Tennessee, Florida, Washington, and North and South Carolina, and even to Ireland. Uh, Stephen seems open and honest, warm and caring, enjoying great relationships, particularly with his wife and other family members as well as his friends. He gives the impression of being someone who can be relied on to give encouragement and support to others. He even tries to be encouraging to his viewers about various topics, uh, especially with regard to getting a college education and in doing things with excellence. Uh, obviously, that was just a portion of it, but it was it was great. It's well it was, written. It is a, it's a very well written, and um, it was very very flattering. But also, um, I thought did a really good job of kind of summarizing a lot of the stuff that we've done on the <laughs> vlog, which I, I appreciated. In fact, when I was reading through it, I was thinking like. Man, like we've done all these things. This is neat because I think so often the vlog, I mean, we even have a lot of, I guess, self deprecating humor where we're like, ah, the vlog's about cats and food, doop, 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 doop. But we've done a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I and mean, we've been doing this for over five years. And in that time, we've done things like go to Ireland, which is really, really cool. So, Cameron. Thank you so much for the letter and also sharing the essay. Our next letter is from Matt in Cape Coral, Florida. Matt says, Hey Stephen Mao, I've been watching Stephen vlog for a while and discovered it through the Chugga vlog. I haven't taken the journey, but is it going to be significantly different since you've edited some of the videos in the playlist? No. There were some things that we had to take out of the 2010 vlogs a while back. You may, you guys may recall if you've been watching for a while, we edited some of the stuff and re-uploaded them. It was just to remove copyrighted stuff. There was some copyrighted stuff that we just didn't pay attention to f many years ago. It's mostly stuff like censoring uh, TV screens and, and things like that. So the vlogs content themselves are unaffected. You're not missing anything. Uh, Matt also includes some questions. To Stephen and Matt, when you both graduated high school, how did you know what you wanted uh, to do with your life? Uh, I, I don't think we did. No, definitely I, I don't, not. I don't think we did. And I don't think that that it's something that I, it it's something obviously that you should I guess worry about but not really worry about it's something that you should begin thinking about thinking about the things you enjoy maybe the kind of type of career that you'd like to pursue but um, coming straight out of high school no nobody nobody knows for a fact w what they want to do uh, I think it's a good idea to um, maybe attend a college that gives you some options, some exploration. But I mean, there's gonna be people that go to a college and they might be heading in a direction or looking at different things and then decide when they're in there that they wanna go a completely different direction. And that's okay. That's totally okay. So you do not need to have all the answers now. No way. Um, and uh, also, what quotes motivate you? Do you have any particular quotes? Not offhand. Not offhand. I came up with them ahead of time. So That's because you knew the question. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I went through these earlier. Uh, what quotes motivate you? I have two that I really enjoy. The, the first one is a big one for me. It's by Oscar Wilde. It says, nowadays people know the price of everything and the value of nothing. Which I, I find incredibly profound and uh, it's it's something to always, always think about. And especially with, uh, I don't know, a, I guess a lot of the materialism of, of today's world. And the other quote, which uh, is from uh, MLK Jr. Uh, and it's probably even more relevant because of some of the recent things that have happened. Uh, people fail to get along because they fear each other. They fear each other because they don't know each other. They don't know each other because they have not communicated with each other. I just think that's like an incredibly powerful quote. Mm -hmm. He's got a ton. He's got a ton. You can go to the Goodreads page and just look at all of the quotes from 
for Martin Luther King Jr. It's crazy. And they're all good, but that's one of my favorites. Anyway, uh, thanks for answering my questions. Uh, this channel and Stephen Plays are both very entertaining. I can't imagine YouTube without them. Thank you so much for sending me this in. Our next letter is from Sydney in Detroit, Michigan. Sydney says, Dear Stephen and Mal, and kitties, it's me again. I watched your April Mail month for this year and I was so excited that you answered my questions and sang the Double Dash song. Speaking of questions, I do have a few questions for you guys. Are you excited for Little Big Planet 3 and are you going to LP it? I'm excited for Little Big Planet 3. I am 3. too. It's going to be pretty awesome. I, I, I hope. The, the, I think the scores that come in for Little Big Planet 3 are good. People are enjoying it, which is cool and I'm really looking forward to doing the the campaign, but also looking forward to what people can create because they've actually expanded the, the abilities that the tools that people can do. It's crazy what people can do now. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, and we are definitely going to be LPing it. Can you do a first 20 on Super Mario 64? If you have the DS version, that would be great too. We actually, and I don't know if we've ever actually said this, but we are going to be doing a full LP of Super Mario 64. Uh, co-op. It'd be in the same style that we did Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess. And I don't know when that's coming exactly, but it's something that Mal and I have talked about doing. Um, we're more or less waiting for Nintendo to pull some of the Super Mario 64 stuff out of Content ID, because they put that in there, which makes it very difficult to make a Let's Play on it. So as soon as they pull that, which seems like it could be likely in the future, you may see that from us. And final question, have, uh, have you ever played an Animal Crossing game besides New Leaf? I played the DS. Me and you both had the DS version. Wild World. Wild World. And we actually put a lot of time into yes. that. Yes. A lot of time. Um, before that, I had the the first one, Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I say I say first one. That's technically the second one. I know. The first one is actually for the N64, but it was a Japanese-only release. Although the GameCube version is a remake of that. Sketchy details. Anyway. Also, I want to tell you something that's kind of funny. My class and I went to C.J. Barrymore's for a field trip. Uh, there were race cars, bumper cars, water bumper, um, boats, rock climbing, etc. My favorite one of all was the arcade. I used up all of, almost all of my money for the, this rigged game. In the game, you had to stack up blocks. First, you would have to stack three blocks, but if you missed one on the side, you would only have two blocks and then one block. I tell you, those games are rigged. Also, you guys rock from your fan, Sydney. Sydney, thank you so much for the letter. And yes, those games are rigged. I know exactly what the one you're talking about. It's Stacker. You, you probably remember that uh -huh. too. Any, I tell you, any digital game scares me. Any, any type of, of thing where it's not a physical thing that you're manipulating in some way, those are rigged. Our next letter is from Connor in Kilgore, Nebraska. And uh, Connor actually sends in the sends this in the Club Nintendo card thing. Card. And actually, it's the Club Nintendo logo on the back, which is cool. It's actually not written in there. The letter is inside on a piece of paper, but I thought it would show off that card because it's uh, really cool. Dear Stephen Amell, I've written to you guys before, although I don't remember the date. I'm currently taking the journey and I have really enjoyed it. I like the modern days, but I still miss the good old college days. I'm 15 and am starting my sophomore year here in about a week, which means that actually Connor is probably well Almost into- Almost his well, first quarter, semester done. Yeah, <laughs> well into sophomore year. Um, other than that, life's been pretty boring around here. You make my life more enjoyable though, so thank you for everything you do and don't stop ever. <laughs> Sincerely, Connor. And uh, Connor uh, also includes. I got it. A picture. <laughs> I'm just waiting here for it's you. It's like to be my uh, it's my high rule field song. I don't know if you you like that. Even though that's like the Temple of Time or something. What? The Temple of Time? It's not with the temple. No, that's the high rule high rule field song. I know. I meant that location. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, high rule field's what came to mind, so you have to live with it. Okay, thanks, Connor. <laughs> Our next letter is from Caitlin in Plattsburgh, New York. Caitlin says, Dear Stephen and Mal, I have included art in this letter. Uh, I have been a long time Stephen Plays and Stephen Blog viewer. The Mother LP is great so far, which I think is funny because it's, it's over. Also, I really love this art. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know. It's, it's something about it just really, really makes it. I really like your face. I like my face too. You're just really cute. 
You're really cute. I mean, you're cute too, but that drawing of you is, is also cute. Anyway, some questions for you two. Number one, is there a chance of you two LPing Mother 3? <clears throat> Historically, people have asked this question and we've always said no. I will go on the record today as saying there is a 1% chance of us ever LPing Mother 3. That just keeps it open in case we ever want to do it in the future. The reason why we've always said that we don't plan on doing it is that it's, um, it's, it is a game, but I, I, I kind of qualify it as an experience, and I think it's a, a game that people should experience on their own. I wouldn't mind doing an LP full of people watching it who have played the game before, but I wouldn't want to be someone's gateway to the game. I wouldn't want to be the first time they ever saw that game. That's my, that's kind of my thing. And if we ever did the LP, I think I would probably stress that right at the beginning and be like, hey, play this. And then once you've played it yourself, come back and, and, and watch us experience it. Because, um, I don't know, it's, it's a very strong game, very emotional game, and I think that people should experience it for themselves. Anyway, uh, have either of you uh, played Mass Effect? No. 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 I think I own all of them. <laughs> but I haven't played any of them. I'm, I've been interested in it, but also it feels like it would be a commitment, because like you got to play all of them. If you're not going to play all three, then why, why even start? And uh, number three, Mao, what did you think of The Last of Us? I really liked it. It's up there on my top games. And you haven't yet played through Uncharted. I'm but getting through Assassin's Creed. So many games. So many games in so little time. Yes. You'll get there. Uh, anyway, Caitlin, thank you so much for the leather and also for the art. Our next letter is from Jessica in Bay Roberts, Newfoundland, Labrador, <laughs> east side of Canada. Canada. <laughs> Somewhere up in Canada. We, Canada is very confusing for people in the States. Dear Stephen Amell, Hi, my name is Jessica, and I am 19, but I've been watching you since I was 17. This is going to be a short letter, but I'd like to say thank you for all of the laughs and for helping me feel less alone after my mom passed away. Uh, I've, been I've been making my own vlogs to help others after all the help that you gave me. Keep up the good work, you two. With much love, Jessica. Jessica, as you said, very short letter, but very meaningful. Uh, we really appreciate things like this, and it means a lot that uh, you got that much out of our content and we helped you through a difficult time, so thank you for sending this in. Our next letter is from Lake in Des Moines, Iowa. And Lake says, Dear Stephen Amell, uh, you both are very talented in what you do. Please keep doing what you are doing and give a hello uh, to your cats for me. Love, Lake. And Lake not only sent a letter, she also sent a uh, postcard. And I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to see this, so I'm going to do you guys a solid. I think this thing is pretty funny, so I'm going to put it in focus so you guys can see it, because it's, it's pretty funny. Thanks, Lake. Our next letter is from Anthony in Dillon, Montana. Anthony says, hello, Stephen. My name is Anthony, and I live in Dillon, Montana. I'm 11 years old and in fifth grade and getting out in a few weeks. And now you're probably 12 years old and in sixth grade. One of my hobbies is playing video games, and you're encouraging me to get Portal 1 and 2, which is good. Those are great games. I'm writing to you because we're doing a project where we write to a celebrity. I chose you because you're one of my favorite YouTubers. Anyway, here's some questions. How's Mal doing? Good. She's doing good. And are you going to do Smash Brothers 4 and Mario Kart 8? This letter is old. Thank you for taking the time to read my letter. Your biggest fan, Anthony. Uh, Anthony, I do appreciate the letter, and you probably already know at this point, but we did Mario Kart 8, and we are currently doing Smash Brothers 4. Our next letter is from Griffin in Chico, California. Griffin says, hi. My name is Griffin. Uh, this is the first letter I've ever sent to you. Uh, you inspired me to start vlogging in 2011, and I discovered your Let's Play channel soon after. The first Let's Play I watched was Shadow of the Colossus, which is a good choice. Uh, thank you guys for all of the funny LPs. You always cheer me up whenever I'm feeling down. Thank you. And let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? Your fan, Griffin. Griffin, thank you for the letter. Our next letter is from Caleb in Port Austin, Michigan. Caleb says, Dear Stephen Amell, I am typing this on a computer because it will probably look neither than my handwriting. Don't feel alarmed. There's a lot of people that do that, and there's a lot of people that say that. In this letter, I will include two drawings for you two, and also two chapters from my autobiography, which I think is incredible. You are getting started very early. I hope you like them. Uh, so last, last thing, read this sentence in a British accent. So I'm supposed to read the following sentence in a British accent, and it says, uh, then have Mallory judge your performance and count how many changes there were. <laughs> oh, that's awful. You're terrible. <clears throat> 
British accent. So I gotta get in the in that. No. Hello, sir. May I have some more, please? <clears throat> I love. <laughs> now I'm gonna just start into Russian. I'm sure. I love pizza. Yes, I do. Do you love pizza too? Was that pretty good? Did I do all right? No, was that it? That was it. That was just that one sentence. Did I do okay? You were kind of. You stayed mostly. I love pizza. Yes, I do. Do you love the pizza too? <laughs> anyway. Uh, anyways, I hope you two have a good day. Uh, Colin D, the big old smiley face, Caleb. And um, I'm not going to read you the the stuff from the other biography, but I wanted to read you a single line because I found it incredibly humorous. Unintentionally so on Caleb's part, but I just thought this was a really interesting way to think about this. Steven is YouTube famous, which means if you put in a few letters, his name will come up as a suggestion. I, I just think that the idea of, of if someone is famous or not is if Google suggests them. That's like the bar to hit. It's like if Google suggests your name, you're famous. I just thought that was really funny. Caleb, thank you so much for the letter. Our next letter is from Joseph in Raleigh, North Carolina. And Joseph says, Dear Stephen, my name is Joseph. I am a rising freshman and I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. During the week of June 15th, I was actually in Myrtle Beach on vacation and I looked for you whenever I was out in case I could possibly see you. Low odds though, but I tried. You say that, but there's actually been quite a few people that have run into us while on vacation, so it's not an impossible thing. We don't always vlog it either. It's just been something that's happened, so. Uh, I have included a drawing of Pikachu. I'm no artist, but I hope it is not the worst Pikachu you have seen. I think it's freaking cute. And it's also really nice to see that version of Pikachu, which I believe is like the Smash Brothers alternate costume. I think that's one of the things he wears is a backwards red hat, so I think it's cool. Anyway, uh, a few quick questions, and you have one that says, what are your favorite games to play with Steven? And I have one that says, what, are, what is your favorite game to play with Mao? So I was thinking we could just kind of combine them. What's our favorite games to play together? Because we are super competitive, and we know that, and we do a lot of games on, uh, on the LP channel that, you know, are competitive. But we're also, we also enjoy doing cooperative stuff. Yeah. So, in our free time, if we could do anything, if we could play any game together, what is it that we're most likely to do? Because lately, it's not play games together. It's like, Mal's playing through Assassin's Creed, and when when I when we have free, free time together, she'll play, and I'll just sit next to her and like watch or provide. Comment about how terrible I am at free running. You've gotten a lot better. Um, so that's the kind of thing that we've done in our free time. Like if I'm waiting for something to export, Mal's playing Assassin's Creed 2, then I'll sit down with her, and we'll we're not playing together necessarily, but you know I'll watch and, and we'll chat. I mean, we play League on Saturdays, and yeah, we do play League together, although it often feels like we're not playing together because we're in completely separate lanes and we like never see each other so that's <laughs> not the best example um a long time ago whenever we were still living in columbia we actually played minecraft survival together for a while and that was actually really fun <laughs> it's minecraft is super super fun with a friend for like the first 10 or 20 hours. Once you have everything, then it's it's a lot less fun. But for that first little bit, it's uh, it's a blast. Anyway, thank you so much for reading and enjoy Pikachu from Joseph. Joseph, thank you for the letter. Our next letter is from Ella in Seattle, Washington. And Ella says, Dear Stephen, Mao, and Kitties, Hi, my name is Ella. I'm about to go into sixth grade my first year of the new school. The thing is, I'm so scared to go. I'm scared because in elementary, I always got teased because I'm a girl that likes things that mainly boys like. I'm afraid of getting of it getting worse in middle school. Uh, Mal, you're a girl. <laughs> I was. <laughs> so, so I've heard. Um, you also grew up liking things that quote unquote boys liked. You like video games and I think even back then it was even more, I guess, taboo than it is today. It's, it's starting to become more accepted. How did you deal with that kind of thing when you were growing up? I, my friends were into it, so, I mean, everyone who was kind of a jerk about it wasn't my friend, and I just was like, whatever, my friends and I have fun. It, and that was probably the, the bigger thing. And to put it into terms kids today will understand, <sighs> haters gonna hate. That's what I mean. That's I think what it's about. Says. Like, 
<laughs> two years old on that saying. Well, no, 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 no that's what the they're kids, saying. Things the, like "bay" now, and that's what the kids are saying. That's what the the kids are saying. That they th and then this hate is going to hate, and they have the shades. They I, they I, they still sell the shades. I saw the shades. I I don't. Anyway, basically, what Mao is saying, or what I'm saying with haters gonna hate, is do you. Do your thing. I mean, have have fun with your life, and if there's something that truly interests you, then don't worry about that. Instead, focus on finding friends who are interested in what you want to be interested in. Don't worry about the criticism that other people are giving you for what is honestly really stupid stuff. Because I've read your letter, and I can tell that you are incredibly mature. Yes. Like Going super, into sixth grade. super, super mature. So you need to understand that and not worry about what anyone else says. Seriously. You you do your thing and uh, don't worry about anyone else. Trust me. Anyway, every day I'd come home, flip open my computer, and watch an episode or two of a Let's Play. Watching it would make me feel so good about myself and it would make me laugh. But not only does not but not only does it make me feel good, it's super entertaining. The drawing is of some, some, of my favorite LPs, but not all of them. I would really like to meet you guys someday, except I'll probably not have the guts to. I'm the shyest eleven year old I know. Stephen Mao, you deserve everything good you receive. Sincerely, Ella. Okay. This is first off, this art is really, really awesome. Like <laughs> Ella, I've gotta hand it to you. Your first off, your art abilities for an eleven year old are Amazing, but your writing is very. I just, I, I, I don't know. You, you are incredibly mature, and it's very evident in, uh, in what you wrote. So, keep being awesome. Our next letter is from Brianna in Escanaba, Michigan. Before you start, what part of Michigan is Escanaba in? The Mitten or the UP? The UP. Good job. I didn't know that. I just. I figured because I was quizzing you, it was the not normal. Yeah, it was probably the UP, and also I had a 50 50 shot, so. I've been to Escanaba. Figured I would, figured I would take a guess. <laughs> uh, Brianna sends us a lot of art, so I'm going to let Mal flip through that while I read you the leather. Dear Stephen Amal, hi. My name is Brianna, and I am 13. I'm also the youngest of three sisters. I love drawing slash art, which is evident, and video games, which. Was, also is evident with the Pokemon. Well, yeah, and is also in is uh, oh capitalized. Cap, capitalized. Uh, I've been watching both Stephen Plays and Stephen Vlog for almost a year, and I am currently taking the journey. I was introduced to Stephen Plays by my older sister Cassie, and I started watching all of your Minecraft maps. After I ran out of those, I went searching and found Twilight Princess. Then I was hooked. I truly hope you two will have a long and happy marriage filled with lots and lots of Earthbound copies. Say hello to the kitty swarmy. And by the way, your three-day ice apocalypse was nothing compared to the UP's nearly six-month ice, snow, and coldness. Sincerely, Brianna. Brianna, I know. <laughs> and that is also... You've spent a week there in Yes, time. yes I have. And that is also why I do not live there, because it is crazy, crazy cold. Along with the leather, I have included copies of drawings I've made, which we saw, and a special drawing for Mao, which we saw, plus some custom-made Pokemon cards of you guys. So we actually have custom Pokemon cards, which uh, I am a dragon, and Mao is a, uh, like a, a cat creature. Mm -hmm. I've got 180 health. I have 220. Uh, and I have Flare, which uh, does 85 damage, just covers self in flames, circles up into the sky, and I can also sneeze, does 150 damage. Ash floats into face and you sneeze fire. I have Meow, a cute type attack that confuses the opponent with cuteness and it does 10 damage. And then I have Scratch, this cute face turns evil and attacks, which is, does 50 damage. I can actually verify that uh, that cute face does turn evil and will attack from time to time if certain uh, pre-qualifications are met. <laughs> Brianna, thank you so much. Our last letter comes from Nina in Rivervale, New Jersey. Nina says, Dear Stephen Amell, Last year was tough for me. I was doing bad in school and I had an extremely mean teacher. So one day I had a really tough day and I was sobbing my guts out. Then I heard you crack a joke from my brother's iPod. The joke instantly shut me up and made me smile. That was the day that I got hooked on your channels. Every time I look back at that day, it makes me smile. Hopefully you saw the little present with this leather. It's the least I can do for people who impacted my life so deeply. If you are reading this leather on camera, I'm probably in tears of joy. Thank you guys so much. I hope to be like you guys one day and touch the hearts of so many across the globe. So once again, and I can't say this enough, thank you for impacting my life and keep doing what you're doing because what you're doing is great. From Nina. And I don't actually know what's in here. But I figured I'd open it up, and it says, 
This was handmade, so please be aware of that. From Nina. Aw, look Aww. at that. It's a cute little mousey. And it's, I'm, I want to see, it may be filled with catnip, I don't know. But we're not going to let the boys get to it because we know how they react to catnip. Violently. They, very violent. Very, this thing would be destroyed. Nina, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. That was very nice. And with that, that is all of the letters that we received over the course of this summer. Once again, I sincerely apologize that it took this long to get around to everything. We've been very busy, but you guys who have been watching the vlog probably know that. Uh, this does not cover the packages. There are a lot of packages that were sent in this summer, and that is going to be a separate video. Once again, that video is out now. Please go look at it on the channel or in the uh, Stephen Mayo playlist. It should be in there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys over there for packages.